They're off and pacing for the lead. It's Scott Murdoch A. Along the rail is Son of Brit. Far outside. Here comes the Bachelor, Bachelor Bowen. Through the first turn, they go Son of Brit at the rail. On the outside is Scott Murdoch A. Bachelor Bowen to settle in third. Away in fourth, Show Ohio. Parked out fifth, Glow Bright. Meadow Bart is a sixth. Hebron Rose seventh. The eighth position belongs to Ram Jack, and the trailer is Frosty's Blaze. They're at the quarter with Scott Murdoch A in charge, 29 seconds flat. They go into the upper turn the first time. Scott Murdoch A, the leader. Here comes Son of Brit back to regain. Son of Brit back to the front with Scott Murdoch A, second, parked out third, Glow Bright. Pending at the rail in fourth is a Bachelor Bowen, swinging outside fifth, Show Ohio. Working off that cover in sixth is Meadow Bart, then it's Hebron Rose, Ram Jack, and Frosty's Blaze as they reach the halfway point of the race, Son of Brit, and three-fifths. Into the clubhouse turn the second time they go, and the one to catch is Son of Brit. Outside, Glow Bright, set for that three-wide move. Now, Show Ohio, as they go past the five-eighths pole and head down the backside the second time. It's Son of Brit at the rail. Glow Bright now between horses. Show Ohio rolling three wide under the Billy Long Web. Facing a wall of horses now in a fourth. That's going to be Scott Murdoch, a big three wide maneuver. Now that's Hebron Rose. They're at three quarters, 132. And the final turn they go. On the far outside, Show Ohio, but even farther out, Hebron Rose is moving in. Show Ohio in the three wide position, Hebron Rose in the four wide position. Son of Brit trying to battle back at the rail in the two wide position. Glow Bright, a game effort tonight out there, five wide now. Here comes Frosty's Blaze through the stretch. It's Hebron Rose with Frosty's Blaze coming on. Hebron Rose, Frosty's Blaze, here they are. Frosty Lad, owned by Harold Griffin, William Kendall, and John Calkins. Trained and driven to victory by Mr. Tony Canacre in the time of two minutes four and two fifths.